Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit a water discovery on Mars, a look at dynamics of the heliospheric current sheet, and then get one of the biggest stories of the year on the galactic magnetic fields. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find only minor pops and surges. Solar flaring took another day off in favor of development of one of the active regions. No significant eruptive activity, and the solar wind enhancements from the coronal hole should be minor. We've got one set of sunspots departing and two more coming in. The northern grouping appeared big, complex, and with a chance for flares, but since then it has spread and reduced flare potential by about half. The southern incoming group has done nothing but grow, still hasn't produced a significant solar flare here with its new muscles, but it will be facing Earth for New Year's. We're heading next to Mars. Elon got excited over this one. They found what will almost certainly be the best place to try to land and create a permanent Mars presence. There is a layer of ice locked about a meter below the ground there, easily tappable. Now, yes, there is a bit of frost in the first inch of basically the entire planet, but this is more like an ancient frozen aquifer. Up next, folks, the current sheets. They surround every spinning magnetic system. They contain the density and electric changes, and they mark the point where the north and south magnetic fields meet, the reversal point, the null point. A solid paper here is examining how these dynamics work out near the edge of the solar system, finding there's actually less of a bunch up and more of a slow dissipation, which is actually the opposite of what they see at the galactic version. But they also did a fantastic job visually simplifying this magnetic curve. The blue J lines are the current sheet flow. Black B arrows, that's the field direction with the plus and minus signs showing the polarity inversions. And of course, our big point was that our math in 2019 had suggested that this should be powerful enough to cause the Earth disaster cycle, the cyclical flip of the entire solar system magnetic environment and of each sphere, resulting in the magnetic pole shift and solar micronova. Here, we see basically the entire geophysics department from the Tbilisi State University in Georgia saying that the local interstellar magnetic fields not only can impact the Earth, but their switching back and forth would be the cause of the geomagnetic dynamo excursions and reversals. Every day, the world of science steps an inch closer to the observers. Folks, if you are around, we've got a very cool thing happening on New Year's Day at Observer Ranch, Sound Bath put on by an observer, one of several Viking women in the observer family, by the way. Link is below. Kat has decided that anyone who orders our new sweatshirts before New Year's is getting a secret special gift that she didn't share with me. I will say the gear is pretty nice. I got one of these a couple weeks ago. Link to that is below. And also, folks, if you want to support the observers, and definitely if you plan to come visit Observer Ranch, you should grab a ranch membership. You get free nights at the ranch, so starting to take care of that right off the bat. Your name goes on the foundation wall. You'll access the health center while you're here. You'll get discounts and you will be supporting not only the Observer Science, but our many kids science programs throughout the year. All links are found below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.